Well, um, okay. I've been on the road with you for two months now. Well, almost, well, okay, I've known you for a while. And I have never, ever seen you out of those pants or that jacket. <laughs> so that would definitely be a good place to start. Do you wash those? I don't... The only one who got to take these off was your mom. Oh! Whatever, dude. <laughs> My turn? Yeah, it's your turn. Oh, uh... Dude, Nikes? <laughs> no, I'm kidding, dude. Brian, you're not, the reason you're single is because no one is good enough for you. Aww. You're good enough for me, Clayton. <laughs> we need to go in the green room. We'll be back. <laughs> Drew! Drew, you're pretty. You're kind of an ass. Um, why am I single? Just give it to me. Well, Brian, uh, when it comes down to it, you have to shop at other places uh, than Goodwill and Kohl's. So, you know, if you just step up your swag a little bit, you know, the ladies might like that. So, and you always wear blue, but that's fine. Because you're a douche. <laughs> well, I want to ask you guys, what, how are you guys so attractive? What is your secret? Do you guys think they're attractive? Yeah! Okay, what's your secret, guys? True. You're not attractive. I'm kidding. How are you? Let's go to the least attractive member. How are you? How is your secret? Um, you know, it's, uh, it's all about your mother's genetics, and that's why I'm so attractive, Brian. Your mother and your mother and your dad. Yeah, your mother and your dad just got together, and here I am. You know, looking better than ever. So we're brothers. Unfortunately, yes. Well, if you're my brother, why am I so much smarter than you? I don't know. I mean, it's, it's flips, flips. You know, why am I so much more attractive than you? I don't know. I guess I got the brains, you got the looks, looks I guess. Uh, yeah, Dalton, how are you so attractive? Well, I read on Google.com that if you dress like a douchebag, you, uh, you get the ladies. So I started wearing this hat. <laughs> yeah, that's it. And, and, I, and I, I sag my pants a lot. <laughs> Thanks, Google! Well, you pull off douchebag pretty well, so... <laughs> Just kidding. Alright, which of the seven dwarves best describes you guys in bed? <clears throat> Brady, how about you? Uh, probably crying. Crying. You're crying when you have sex. Why do you think he's crying, Drew? Well, I don't think crying is one of the seven dwarves, am I right? I don't know. But, uh, I don't know, maybe because, like, halfway through he realizes it's with a dude and it's not a girl, so... I'd, I'd be crying, too. I'd cry, too. Shots fired! Shots fired! I, maybe it's just because his dick's so small. <laughs> just a roast up here. Drew, why, which of the seven dwarves are you? Um, uh, probably Sleepy. Um, because halfway through I just get bored and I go right to bed. That's what I do. Maybe you should be with more attractive women. <laughs> We're so mean up here. All right, let's do one more here. I'm gonna, let's do a nice question. Dalton, what's it like to be the only female member of the band? Well, it's definitely different. Uh, they're always looking at me in the shower. That's awkward. Uh, and they never want to stop for tampons. They're like, no, we gotta keep going to the show. I'm like, stop. Going to get tampon break, dude. Yeah, dude. Like bathroom break, tampon break, same thing. That's how it works, right? I see. Uh, do they ever get physical with you? Uh, yes. Yep. Drew, how physical do you get with Dalton? Um, so it, it depends on the night, you know. It's just, uh, if we have a good show, it might get a little, you know, you know. I feel a little funky, but uh, sometimes I just go to bed. I just don't want to deal with all that, all that uh, bitching, you know. So, <laughs> all right, my doll is our friend. There you go. Real quick, guys, let's get moving up here. Can one of you guys show me a karate move? Drew, Drew. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys for coming out to the Brian Stars Tour. This is uh, the big fight of the night here. We got Brian in the blue corner over here and Drew on the other side of the stage. <gasps> Drew comes out, Brian, with a big kick. Brian comes back with a big hug. Brian, awesome bear hug. And 
One, two, three. Brian's down. Brian's dead. Awesome. Brian's dead. Thank you guys for coming out. This is the In Memory of Brian Stars Tour. Nice ass, dude. Make some noise for Brian for being a big pussy. Drew, I have told you before, I don't like it when you're on top of me. Oh. All right, guys, on a serious note, late night reading. You guys have worked really hard to be here tonight. Uh, I know all of us have. Why are we here for all these fans? Um, seriously, why are we here tonight? Dalton, go ahead. Well, we're here tonight because of all these fans, and it's amazing that we can come to a city that we've never been to and uh, draw more than you know nobody. This is the fact that every, the fact that people have come out to this is, is amazing. Well, we've never played a real show here, though. That's what I was driving at. But no, it's cool. Thank, seriously, thank you guys so much for coming out. It's the reason you know we're up here playing and getting the tours because you guys come out of the shows, and without you guys, we would literally be nothing. So, thank Aww. you. It's your support that makes it happen. Woo! Seriously, thank you guys so much. And a uh, late night reading, their new album comes out tomorrow. So give them a round of applause. All right, so late night reading, head on over there. Um, 